guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ate Jessie from Denmark. But I cannot promise that I can talk in English non-stop, so... Alright, alright, alright! Topic for today, how to apply for Danish visa. I need to read it. Visas are only issued for short-term stays. If the immigration authorities suspect that any applicant is planning to seek permanent or long-term residency, their application for visa will be turned down. To my uh, Tagalog viewers, Ang ibig sabihin po ay eh, kung mag apply kayo ng visa dito sa Denmark, kailangan hindi yung long term, yung matagal, or permanent visa kasi hindi po talaga pwede. In this case, Denmark normally has a representation agreement in place with other Schengen countries who will handle visa application in Denmark's behalf. Schengen countries, it means in Europe, Switzerland, Italy, Spain, and the requirements for your application, you will need the following. Number one, valid national passport or other valid travel identification. Number two, two passport photos. Station from your contact in Denmark. Just like an invitation letter. As well as your contacts details such as their name, address, a description of your relationship, and the purpose of your visit should be stated on your letter of invitation from the contact. You ask your contact his or her information about CPR number, Danish personal identification number, if applicable of your contact in Denmark. In some cases, you may be asked for more documents for your visa application. It is not unusual for the Danish Embassy to require evidence or any information you provide. For example, just like my sister, she's married. So they asked her to provide a marriage certificate. Why? Because uh, if you're single, it's not 100% you can come in Denmark. Denmark. It is advisable to avoid to buy a closed airline ticket or travel insurance before you head your visa applications approved. If you present a ticket that does not match the period of time covered by the visa, you will have to change your ticket unless you agreed to have the visa period shortened. Remember that, guys. It's important. Last but not the least, you must legally live in the country where you submit your application for a visa. 
So, if you're in the Philippines, you should submit your application for visa in the Philippines. Must provide all the information required and any supporting documents must be authentic. Kailangan po yung mga documents na isasubmit nyo ay original. May stamp. Yung talagang makikita nila na hindi yan pinagawa lang kung saan. Kailangan po sundin natin kung ano ang nakalagay sa requirement. Kasi po, importante ang dokumento. Diyan po sila nagbabase kung bibigyan kayo ng visa or not. It's not difficult to apply a visa here in Denmark. Just see to it that all your documents will be in original status or else your Your energy will be wasted. I'm telling you guys, my sister has been here for four times. It's not, it's not very difficult. You just provide all the, the document they needed so you can get your visa approved so guys this is what i got today if there is something mistakes i i said or told you just comment down below i hope i help you with all your questions so this is end of my vlog thanks for watching guys god bless you all